guys, welcome back to the channel. This week you're going to see all kinds of crazy things. We've gotten stuck on canoes, we've gotten frappes being made, we've got in, inside movie night where they turn the trampoline into something, and then we've also got lots of other things to come, so stick around. <laughs> Yeah, it's totally, totally boring. It's a waterfall. It's not outside. So on a rainy day, like today, can you hear that thunder? Ooh. That was some nuts thunder. So today we are getting some stuff done. We're decluttering our toy stash. And if you don't know, I run a daycare and we have a lot of toys, a lot of toys. So we are going to be decluttering, getting rid of a ton of toys today. Um, and we're also gonna make some 4th of July cupcakes. We're making some 4th of July cupcakes and the kids are napping. We've got our first batch done over here. So we've got a good assortment already done. And we're doing it old school, guys. Maybe not old school, maybe it's new school. We're doing 4th of July, good old Pillsbury. Normally I make stuff from scratch, but this week's been hectic and crazy, and we just didn't find the time today. So we're doing buffs, but the kids will love it anyways. Um, and so we're making some 4th of July cupcakes. The kids are already in bed. Please excuse our silly cupcake liners. We have some super cute, perfect for this holiday, 4th of July looking blue and white and red cupcake liners, and we can't find them. So I recently moved my pantry and I need to go through it and organize it. And right now it's a hot mess. So we cannot find it, so instead, we're using these. And uh, it gets the job done, if nothing else. So if you guys don't have cupcake liners, pro tip, I put it in there, then I spray it with some canola oil, and there you go. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, the kids already did the first batch, they're now down for their nap. I know it looks like nighttime outside, because it's so dark. I don't know if you can see into the playroom past the trampoline. It's like almost nighttime dark outside. It's crazy. Storming. So I'm gonna get to work making the second batch of cupcakes. <laughs> Fourth of July from the current river in Missouri. It's gorgeous. Me and my dad and Sophia are paddling down this beautiful spring fed river and it's ice cold and it's probably 90 degrees outside so it's definitely refreshing. Road trip. likes being on camera. <laughs> you can just see through just through the trees. There's almost, oh, here we go. Look at that. Whoa, look how high we are, Sophia. Did you see? Ooh, we're about to get windy. We're going down. <laughs> Current River State Park. Ooh, we're going down the mountain. Look at all these people. Yeah, if we're just getting out here, it's okay. Good, that means it's more empty. Don't do that. Ah, woo, so pretty. Wow, wow. so pretty. Echo Bluff State Park, that's a fancy sign.
you excited to go canoe in? Yeah, I got her a little seat happening over there. Think about your canoe. Echoey. Echo! Echo! Yeah, very echoey. Huh. <laughs> Do you need a cookie? <laughs> I thought that might brighten your, your spirits up. <laughs> we got 4th of July cookies. Look at that. Not here. Look, look how beautiful those rocks are. Are they so pretty? Bats, probably. <laughs> oh, look, it's going to split up here. Mm -hmm. Portage, yeah, we might need to do that. Look at how, oh, that's a big old, that's a big old tree. Are you having fun? Yeah. I know, she is. Weird, crazy faces. Sophia, feel the water. Kirby? <laughs> Put your hand in the water, baby. It's a river. It's okay. Here, you want me to do it with you? Here. Look. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that relaxing? Sophia, look at mama. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, the huge cave. That's so cool. Sophia, look at mama. Please. <laughs> I'm tired. No, was it a little scary falling over? Yeah, it, it was. Scary for all of us. Probably. Somebody did. Oh, look at the beautiful spring coming out of it. Dripping out of it, that's pretty cool. We made it back. My mom had to come save Keep us after I was in the river. So quite the view. Continue for one mile. We are almost home. Here, Owen. You only hold the back, okay? Hold it out. Hold it out. Oh, out. Hold it out. Hold it towards mommy. Out towards mommy. Do you love it? Watch out, not close. Oops. Out, out like this. <laughs> Owen, hold it out. Hold it out. <laughs> Fireworks. Wow. Step away, Turn around to Grandma, show her. 
Oh, they're different colors. Sophia has, I didn't know they were different colors. Stay over here, stay over here. Don't run with it. <laughs> oh, and don't run with it. If you fall, you're gonna burn yourself. Please don't run. No, no. tonight we're having butter peanut butter chicken it smells good with some rice so for lunch today we're gonna have a few things with the side of apples so to get ready and prepped for the week I've got some apples I've got to slice up before they brown so we're gonna slice them up here and then some of them will go to the kiddos for lunch and some of them will go in the fridge for snack later Now we're just going to add some to the plates and feed everyone lunch. Also, another tip I forgot to tell you was to add some lemon juice. Fresh is best, but all I have on hand right now is this lemon squeeze thing. But you add it so that it keeps the apples from browning. That's a quick tip Today for you. Today we are going to make lunch. It's Wednesday. So we're just gonna have a simple quick midday lunch for the daycare kiddos. We've got some little Smokies, some cheese, and some croissants. Some good old easy lunch <laughs> for a good old Wednesday. So I'm gonna start wrapping these up and turning these into pigs in a blanket. And then we've also got dinner cooking. So I'm gonna turn on pressure cook and for 20 minutes, make sure that our little nozzle here is good and the latch is on, the lid's on well. Um, and then that's gonna cook away while I make lunch and then we'll have dinner ready to go too. They're having uh, chicken and dumplings for dinner today. Sophia is currently at grandma's house. So she's due to return anytime soon. She had a fun night last night, stay in the night. And uh, we miss her. We're ready for her to be back. Owen has had tons of alone time with me. So that's been fun. Some one-on-one, -on -one. we read some books, played some games. We've been cleaning out their bedroom. <laughs> that's been quite the chore. Um, because I just, you just have to be employees, you know. When we had a full day care full of 10 kids and they were, you know, anywhere from six months to four years, it made sense to have so many toys. But now that I've gone strictly infant daycare, we don't need so many toys. We have so many toys. And now that we have so many toys, there's just no reason for us to have so many toys. So I've made the executive decision to go and clear out the toys. Um, I'm letting the kids go through them first and kind of pull out the ones that they know they want. And then I'm going to have them go ahead and uh, keep those. And then I follow behind them and kind of go through what's left and decide what's staying for the daycare and what's staying for the kids and what's going. So that's what we've been doing today. Um, yesterday we went through the playroom, which I'll take a little tour of. It's still uh, going, being gone through. I've kind of gone through most of the clothes, but, or most of the toys, but there's still so much to move out. So we are getting rid of some big items. We're getting rid of our train table because the kids don't play with it anymore. And I know someone else could really use it and get more um, enjoyment out of it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of our train table. We're getting rid of a giant dollhouse that we don't need anymore. Sophia has one in her room up on her dresser that she gets to play with every day. So she doesn't need another one in there. She doesn't play with it. 
She's chosen it to be another thing that's gonna go. Also, I plan on getting her, she's not here, so I guess I don't need to whisper, but I plan on getting her a Barbie doll house, a dream house, uh, as her big Christmas present this year. So I'm not too concerned about seeing that big old one go because she'll be getting a brand new one in just six months for Christmas time. So um, not a huge thing that we're getting rid of so many toys. We have so many guys. Wait till you see the boxes and the boxes of toys that we're going to go donate to some local child, um, uh, some local centers. Like I've got some abuse centers that I want to go, women's abuse shelters I want to go donate to. There are some places here in town called Willow that I want to go donate to that helped me a lot after my divorce. Um, there's some local places I want to help. There's somewhere called Ballard Center here in town. That's another really good resource for the local community. So I'm going to go donate some of these toys to them um, because they are, they're always needing, always needing new toys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that probably this afternoon. It's going to take a few van loads. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> a few van loads. Can you believe that, guys? Man, the amount of toys we've been blessed to accumulate. So they're going to go bless someone else. <laughs> And get out of my house so that my house is a little bit more manageable and the kids are really excited about only having so many toys which surprised me I didn't know that they'd be so excited but they were so excited to have less toys because it's only going to take them you know 10 minutes to clean up the whole house or it used to take a lot longer because there were so many toys so they're really 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 going to just bask in the less toys which was surprising to me. I didn't expect that. Okay, Owen, hold on. Mama's making lunch. So as you can see, it's just a simple little swirl around. The dough will puff up because it's crescents. Um, and crescents, croissants, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you, how you guys pronounce it. I just, that's how I pronounce it. It's probably not 100% accurate, just like pecans and pecans. I don't know. <laughs> um, but either way, however it's pronounced, I pronounce the croissant. I don't know. Either way, um, you just wrap them around, and it's super simple. Um, you could probably even get away with only using uh, one package for probably two of these big um, packages of little smokies. I'm shoot I've only used a handful and I'm almost done I'm gonna start doubling them up <laughs> because I actually have a lot of dough left and of course you could repurpose this dough if you hadn't used it all you could use it for various other things if you've got some uh, turkey lying around sliced turkey it's delicious wrapped in these you can wrap it with or without cheese throw it in the oven and you've got a delicious turkey and cheese melt pocket um, another favorite is ground beef. We'll throw some ground beef and maybe cheese into one of these and roll it up. It's delicious. Um, breakfast pockets is another good use for these croissants. Um, throw in some eggs, sausage, cheese, bacon, whatever you wish. And it makes a fantastic grab and go breakfast. Now, if you're like me and you're like, where are we going? <laughs> in the middle of a pandemic yeah you're probably not going anywhere but if you even if you're home it's nice to be able to make them in advance and pop them in the fridge in a baggie or a container and then that lunch is good to go. let me tell you meal prepping is life-saving like if I had been smart and ahead of the game this week I would have made these on the weekend but we got stuff in a queue <laughs> uh, not actually stuck we got stuck on a river so if you want to see that, it's going to be somewhere in this vlog uh, because it was part of our weekend. We spent our 4th of July weekend trapped in the, over, in the Ozarks because I may or may not have made a big mistake. What can you do, you know? Then the rest of these, I'm just going to wrap them and they're going to be little cheese packets. The little babies will adore these. 
And see, they don't have to be pretty. It just has to be done. It doesn't need to be like some spectacular masterpiece of gorgeousness. But it's gonna be devoured by children. This is my devoured by children in like 30 seconds. So let's see how quick and easy that is. I was able to make this whole lunch while my Instapot heated up. But yeah, you guys let me know what you did for 4th of July. Probably more fun than what we did since we considerably spent a considerable amount of time locked out of the truck and then sitting in the truck. Uh, yeah, that's what we did. We didn't see any fireworks, unfortunately, where we were. There were so many trees and we were in the wilderness. So we heard fireworks, but we couldn't see it. Uh, but, you know, bonding time, right? So, yeah, <laughs> let us know how your 4th of July was. I hope it was more fun than ours. <laughs> I'm sure it was. But I'm just gonna pop those eggs in a blanket in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. And you have lunch. Pair it with fruit and veggie, and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye.